Hallelujah. Spiritual warfare part two today, Wednesday. And I know that this 23rd day of June is going to be well with you in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you again for your faithfulness. Thank you, thank you. We have come to the midweek. Oh God, glory to your name for how far you have helped us. And we know you that helped us Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. You are going to help us this Wednesday and you are going to help us Thursday, Friday, Saturday again. Glory be to your name. Father, please always be there for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Friends, remember 2 Corinthians 10, 3 to 6 is still our test. Talking about spiritual warfare. And today we want to look at this very important part. That like we said yesterday, you must discipline yourself. You can't go to battle when you are not ready, when you are disarray, when you don't even know what you want to go do, when you don't have a plan, when you don't have a purpose, when you are not disciplined, when you are not ready. Otherwise, surely you have lost. There's no wonder that it's a saying that the person that failed to plan has planned to fail. But today, in Ephesians 6, reading from 10 to 12, Paul was speaking. Say, 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 no, we talked about Paul yesterday that talked about discipline yourself. So he is he's a, he's a veteran when it comes to spiritual warfare. So we can depend on his advice. He says in Ephesians 6, 10 to 12, he said that every man said, look, you need to equip yourself with the armor of God. Say, the whole armor of God. He said, by God, what you are fighting against, like we read in our test, this spiritual battle, it is not against flesh and blood. So you need the spiritual equipping. And he said, there's something he called, he said, there, he said, there's armor of God. And he said, you must stand, and you must stand in the might of God. So it's God, 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 for you to deal with those enemies. Do you know why? And that's the high point. And that's where I conclude today. In 1 Corinthians 16 and verse 9, he says, Though there are opportunities for you, there are doors open to you, there are privileges for you, you have gone to school, you have opportunities for greatness. Say, there are enemies. Say, an eventual door is open. But there are enemies that don't want you to benefit of that door. And that's why you need this old armor of God. I'd like you to take time out and study that Ephesians chapter 6 from 10 to 18. And I'll see you tomorrow, even as we conclude. You will not fail in this war. You will win in Jesus' name. Amen.